Welcome aboard the Lagoon 51. I'm Marnie Ebeling from TMG and today I'm lucky enough to be in La Grande Motte for the premiere of this magnificent boat. Being the leading manufacturer gives Lagoon some great advantages, being able to get a lot of feedback from their customers and that is exactly what they've done with the Lagoon 51. So let's step on board and first of all we see one of the first key features the easy access transom, giving this whole area a real terrace on the sea. When I'm on board and boating, one of my favorite places to be is as close to the ocean as possible. So this hydraulic platform is going to be the perfect place to spend time and be close to the ocean. Follow me into the cockpit. As you can see, moving into the cockpit, there's only two steps, making this whole area seamlessly flow. What I also noticed when I hopped on board is this high coach roof. I was just talking to Guillaume, who is two meters, and it goes well beyond his head. Talking to other taller boat owners, I know how important this is for them. This whole area is super social and functional, and I know whenever you're on the boat, the cockpit is always the focal point of all activities. Underneath all of the seats, there is plenty of storage. Let's move into the flybridge, which I know is going to be the most exciting new feature on this boat. So one of the main things that the Lagoon designers worked on is this area to make it a much more social area and really add another dimension to the boat. Talking to other Lagoon owners, I know that many of them could not survive without their flybridge on board. And really, this tops the lot in terms of flybridges, especially for this size. So starting at the helm position, I have a 360 view and I know that we can also add an option for cameras if you want a little bit more assistance while docking. I love how as the captain, you're able to sit here and have some socialization with other crew members. And this is probably my favorite part. When you're at anchor and you're no longer steering the vessel, these flip positions, turning this area into the perfect U-shaped lounge area. What is unique about the Lagoon 51 is the fact that the boom is high enough so that you can be on the flybridge while navigating. For many owners, clears are going to be a great addition to your boat. Whether it's up on the flybridge or down in the cockpit, clears can be fitted and look very discreet when tucked away and when in use will offer great protection. If you're wanting a little bit of extra sun, they haven't forgotten you. You can easily use these forward sun lounges. Here you're also gonna notice how much solar there is. Pretty much every space has been fitted with extra large solar panels equating to over 3,040 watts. These solar panels have been made to fit these lagoons, which is what makes the Lagoon 51 stand out. Lagoon have really wanted to focus on the flow of this vessel. And one of the ways that they've done that is having the dual access to the flybridge. Let's go down the other side. I'm moving on to the forward cockpit. This area is very well equipped with multiple cup holders and this table. You can also option this with some protection so I definitely know that on a hot summer's day, this is where I'd be spending my time and having some sundowners. You might also notice that on this model, the mast has been brought further forward. If you are familiar with Lagoon's next generation models, you would know that in the past, this had been moved further aft. But for the Lagoon 51 VPLP, reconfigured the rig. Later on, I'll talk to some of the experts to find out more about this new rig design. Now what you guys have all been waiting for, let's go inside. Immediately as you enter into the saloon, you can feel really how open this whole area is. You can see fully out of all of these windows and also the seamless flow from outside to inside. Let's move first into the dining and lounging area. You'll notice there is a slight step up and this works great in three distinctive ways. First of all, it separates from the galley. Second of all, it lifts you up so that you can look out these generous windows. And third, it gives additional space for the layout in the hulls below. 
This table here is on hydraulics, so it can be lowered into a more of a coffee table situation and risen for dining mode. It also opens all the way up. There is also the option to make this area configurable to be another sleeping arrangement. Sitting down, I'm also realizing how thick these cushions are. It seriously is comfortable. It really goes to show all of the little details that Lagoon have put into this boat. While we're here in the, I wanted to mention that this is the premiere of the new standard for Lagoon's interior wood, sand oak. Over here, we have a very comfortable space for all your navigation needs. One of my favorite things about catamarans in general is having a galley up. Being able to cook and do all of your preparation for food in this area is great. And on the Lagoon 51, there is a generous amount of space. Plenty of storage above. We have a stove, oven, and a very discreet dishwasher. And then over this side, we have two very generous fridges as well as a freezer. Moving in to the owner's cabin, this model here is laid out with the owner's model, four cabins, one on this side, three on the other, but you can also option this boat to have six cabins. I feel like every time I walk into an owner's cabin, my reaction is instantly, wow, this hull is so generous. Definitely a place that I'd like to spend a lot of time at and I could really feel at home. When you're living aboard or spending long periods of time, it's really all the little things. Having lots of storage for all of your clothes, room around your bed, and of course, your own ensuite. This area is truly massive and you can really see that Lagoon have put a lot of effort into the attention to detail. Things like having this working desk, this couch, and the new walk-in wardrobe as standard are all things that are gonna make you feel so much more at home when spending a lot of time on board your Lagoon 51. In line with Lagoon's sustainable focus, that Lagoon have used recycled upholstery and aptly wood approved by the standards set by Forest Stewardship Council. Moving into the other hull, this is a major benefit of the Lagoon 51, the ability to have three cabins in the one hull. You have two very similar double cabins as well as a head with shower on each side as well as a slightly smaller double cabin. I hope you enjoyed this first in-depth walkthrough at the premiere at La Grande Mont Boat Show. I will be interviewing with some of the experts that went into the design of this boat to give you even more information over the next couple of days. Make sure you like and subscribe to keep updated with all the rest on this magnificent model.